let's evaluate the following expressions. For the first one, this is a combination expression. We have 11 taken 4. This is equal to 11 factorial divided by 11 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. This can be simplified into 11 factorial divided by 11 minus 4 is 7, so 7 factorial times 4 factorial. To simplify, we will write 11 factorial as 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. And the denominator will just copy 7 factorial and then write 4 factorial as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then you can cancel 7 factorial here in the numerator and in denominator. And then just multiply this expression here and divide it by the product of the numbers in the denominator. You get 330. Next, we have combination 7 taken 7. Using the combination formula, this is equal to 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 7 factorial times 7 factorial. 7 minus 7 is 0. The numerator is still the same, 7 factorial, and the denominator is 0 factorial times 7 factorial. Take note, 0 factorial is defined to be equal to 1. If I cancel this over this, so I have 1 over 1, that gives me 1. Next is to evaluate this expression here. We will use the combination formula for the numerator that is equal to 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Now in the denominator, this combination 5 taken 4 is equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Now we will simplify the numerator and also the denominator. Now the numerator becomes 7 factorial, copy 7 factorial, and this one becomes 4 factorial. 7 minus 3 is 4, so you have 4 factorial times 3 factorial. All over, copy 5 factorial, and then 5 minus 4 is 1, you have 1 factorial times 4 factorial. We have here a complex fraction. We have a fraction divided by a fraction. Just copy the numerator, 7 factorial over 4 factorial, 3 factorial. Multiply this to the reciprocal of the divisor. Flip this so you will have 1 factorial, 4 factorial divided by 5 factorial. Take note that 1 factorial is just equal to 1. Since we have multiplication here, we can cancel this 4 factorial with the 4 factorial here. To simplify 7 factorial divided by 5 factorial times 3 factorial. We can write 7 factorial as 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. And the denominator, you just copy 5 factorial times 3 factorial. We write 3 factorial as 3 times 2 times 1. And then you cancel. 3 times 2 is equal to 6, so that would cancel also with the 6 here. This is equal to 7. Next, let's simplify combination 5 taken 0. By the formula, this is just equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 0 factorial times 0 factorial. This is equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 0 is 5, so we have 5 factorial, 0 factorial. This would cancel with this, so you have 1 over 0 factorial. And also take note that 0 factorial is equal to 1. So 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1. Another expression. Let's simplify 
permutation 20 taken 2 divided by 2 factorial minus combination 20 taken 2. Let's use the definition of permutation to simplify this. For permutation, for the numerator here, we have 20 factorial divided by 20 minus 2 factorial all over 2 factorial. So just copy the 2 factorial in the denominator. Minus this combination here using the formula that is equal to 20 factorial divided by 20 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. This expression here could be written as 20 factorial divided by 20 minus 2 is 18, so 18 factorial. And then this 2 factorial here, if you get the reciprocal, 1 over 2 factorial. This expression, if I simplify it, this 20 minus 2 is also equal to 18. So you have 18 factorial for the expression here. So you have 20 factorial divided by 18 factorial times 2 factorial. Now since we have multiplication here, if I'm going to combine these two expressions here, this is the same as 20 factorial times 18 factorial times 2 factorial, which is actually exactly the same as the expression here. So we have 20 factorial divided by 18 factorial times 2 factorial. So therefore, this is just equal to 0. Next, let's simplify the given expression here. So again, let's use the formula for combination. 5 taken 1 is equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial times, now this expression here is 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And the denominator, 12 taken 3 combination, that's equal to 12 factorial divided by 12 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Let's simplify further. This is equal to 4. So this is just 4 factorial. And 5 minus 2 is just 5 factorial. And take note, this one is multiplication. So I can combine this into one single expression. I would have 5 factorial, 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial, 4 factorial for this one, times 1 factorial, well, we can just omit this because 1 factorial is equal to 1, and then times 5 factorial, that is from 7 minus 2, so 5 factorial times 2 factorial, so that's our numerator. For the denominator, we will have 12 factorial divided by 12 minus 3 is 9, 9 factorial, and then 3 factorial. Cancel this 5 factorial with this one. Let's use the definition for complex fractions. We have 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 2 factorial, and then we will change the operation to multiplication after we get the reciprocal of the denominator. So the reciprocal of this one, you just have to flip it. So this becomes the numerator now. We have 9 factorial, 3 factorial, divided by 12 factorial. I'm going to show you how you will evaluate factorial on an online calculator. First, we'll have fraction. The numerator will be 7, and then to find the factorial, you click this ABC here, and then you find the apostrophe, so that's 7 factorial, times, then you go back to the main, times 9 factorial, times 3 factorial, divided by 4 factorial, times 2 factorial, times 
12 factorial. So therefore we have this as our result. Or if you want fraction, you get 21 over 44. So upon evaluation using our calculator, this is equal to 21 over 44.